Welcome to the fifth race of the year for the AOR Racing League. Tonight we are at Auto Club Speedway in California. We have 17 cars in the starting lineup tonight, with an 18th car not making the field of Ken Walters in the 27th car. I will be going over the starting lineup in just a few minutes. Uh, sit back and relax, and I hope you enjoy this recap. Starting tonight's race in the row number 9 in the number 75 Redbridge Chevrolet Rod Morantz. In the number 8 on the 8th row in the Amp Chevrolet J.R. Price. In the UPS Ford Fusion number 88 Justin. In the 230 the yet to end hunger Chevrolet Jeff. In the Rapid Dental Repair Chevrolet number 21 Phil DeFranco. In the 329 Little Caesars Dodge Charger Troy. In the, the Houston Texans Chevrolet, number two, Richard Hillebrandt. In the Purple Grape Dodge Charger, number 43, Larry Cole. In the Krispy Kreme Chevrolet, the 070 of Walt. In the 68 Calibers Dodge Charger, Bill Schneider. In the 112 U.S. Army Chevrolet, Eddie. In the 61 Buckshot Dodge, Ralph Polly. In the number six, Brandon House, Ford Fusion, Brett Carter. In the unsponsored number 94, Ford Fusion of Ken Hansen. In the number 20, American Online Racing Chevrolet, Jeff Trowbridge. Our outside pole winner in the 124, U.S. Marine Chevrolet. Alan Eber, and our poll winner in the number 40, Brandon House Chevrolet, Gary Moran. Gary had a lap time of 37.866 at a speed of 190.145 to take the poll. Congratulations, Gary, on your poll. Tonight's race, we had seven cautions. We'll get started right away with the first review of the first caution at lap number one. Take a view from Troy's 329 car after we take the green. Coming up through the gears, taking the flag. See the sixth car getting loose, spins. Troy barely gets by, oh, and is collected by the 230. Both cars trying to get by the loose car of Brett Carter. Well, the 329 has been snake bit again. Take a look at the incident on lap 26 where contact is made between the number 8 and the 75 coming into turn 3. Take a look at this incident number three at lap 35 where the 68 appears to, to get loose in the corner and then is then hit by the 124. Hard lick for Bill Schneider in the 68. The fourth caution comes out at lap 59 when the engine expires in the 75 of Rod Merritt's. There it goes. It's letting go. Gone. Tough break for Rod. She tries to limp it back to the pits, but the caution's out. Take a look at incident number 5 at lap 64, 
where Larry Cole in the 43 loses control and collects the number two Texan Chevrolet of Richard Hillebrand. Hits the apron, loses control into Richard, and Larry's on his roof with a destroyed car. Take a look at incident number six at lap 73 involving the 124 of Alan Eber in the 070 of Walt. This is going to be a hard lick on, on the 070 car. Take a look. Contacts made. Right there. Let's look at the last incident at lap 81 involving the 40 car. We'll be in the helicopter view this time, looking high above. As the 40 gets a run on the 20 car, steers down to get below him and loses control and takes it takes a hard hit to the inside wall. That's going to destroy a fast race car. The driver with the most laps led tonight's race was the 20 of Jeff Trowbridge. Jeff led 50 of the 88 laps that we ran tonight. Great job, Jeff. Tonight's highest climber, starting 15th and finishing 1st. Gaining 14 spots in the 88 UPS Ford Fusion just in. Tonight's fastest lap was put down by Jeffrey in the number 20 AOR Chevrolet. At lap 72, he put down a lap time of 38.177 at a speed of 188 miles an hour, 0.596. Great job, Jeff. Our fifth place finisher in the 070, Krispy Kreme Chevrolet Waco. A fourth place finisher, finishing strong with a damaged car, Bill Snodder in the 68 Dodge. Congratulations to our third place finisher in the 21, Phil DeFranco. Finishing second in the 61, Ralph Polly. Good job, Ralph. Our winner in the 88, UPS Ford Fusion, just in. Let's watch them burn them down. Congratulations, Justin, on his victory. We hope you enjoyed the recap from the California race. We'll see you next week at Martinsville Speedway as the AOR boys take on the little half-mile flat track nestled away in the mountains of Virginia. See you then.